hey, hey. <laughs> Hoping that uh, the other people will come back. <clears throat> It's kind of bright. I think I'm going to do, uh, just because it's going to be a replay for probably, hey, <laughs> well, it looks like there's five people in here. I don't know who it is, but anyway, nice to see you. At least there's some people that's going to be watching. That light is real bright, but I don't have a choice but to use it. So I'm going to change this to uh, horizontal so that when people watch the replay on the computer later, it'll be, uh, it'll actually look decent because <clears throat> I'm hoping this will be posted in Mentor Tips. So, uh, let's just hold off a little bit to see if other people will come and then I'll get started. <clears throat> so, anyway, um, I'll get started and then uh, people can watch the replay. So, Whoever is watching the replay, thank you. Uh, my name is Pierre Gramaison, and uh, I am uh, basically really green as far as forex trading goes. I've only been doing it for two months now, um, probably about a month um, on Periscope with Reza, um, but and then I joined the Mentor Tips program. So essentially, um, day to day, I'm in. Uh, technology, so IT. Uh, I run an IT company, a web hosting business, and uh, basically this is sort of uh, my new, uh, you know, <laughs> part-time passion. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, get started. I'm just going to close the door. Just be a sec. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to dig right into it. Um, when I'm going to be holding the camera to show my computer, it's I don't have a nice stand, so hopefully it's going to be decent. So let's get started. The first thing is basically uh, remove the MT4 from my computer. So right now I actually have MT4 running, and I figured um, I might as well show uh, the process of uh, getting it removed. So. Essentially, I've got it running. Um, kills me to shut this down. It's almost like an addiction, right? To <laughs> to, to delete it from your computer. But uh, let's just quit, quit the application. So essentially, the MT4 and the wine bottle application. And then if we look here, I've got these applications here. I'm going to go into my applications and I'm going to delete it from there. So. You'll see wine, bot, wine, wine bottler, and there's also an NT4 app that I placed up here. So I'm gonna drag. Whoops. Okay, my apologies. I, you couldn't see that. So I'm in applications, and then you go into. I'm gonna select the MT4, and then I'm gonna just drag it to the trash. So if you've installed. Um, MT4 on your Mac before, this is how you remove it, just so that you end up with a clean installation. It will forget all, 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 all of your login credentials and templates and everything you have, so just to give you a heads up about that. Um, so you basically drag it into your trash. So I'm just going to empty the trash to make sure it's, there's nothing still there. So the next step is... I'm going to go ahead and uh, start from scratch. So uh, the instructions actually on the uh, <clears throat> mentor tip site is actually pretty decent. So uh, in case people don't know, mentor tips is sort of a mentorship program to learn about Forex sort of in an expedited way um, so that you don't end up um, spending years trying to learn it. I'm just going to put the phone down so I can put my credentials in, so just be a second. <clears throat> okay, so essentially in 
um, mentor tips, you can actually find this information. And it's actually readily available pretty well online other places too. So I'm going to follow these instructions, but I'll also show you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So um, what you do is you can download these files from here. I'm sort of... Uh, uh, my IT background sort of always tells me to download things from the original websites and never from like a broker or something. So my typical thing to do is to go to the actual MetaTrader website and download it. So I'm going to show you that. So it's basically MetaTrader4.com and then <clears throat> um, you basically what you want to do is if you search on this page you'll see like the application for PC which is basically Windows and then you'll eventually see the instructions for the iPhone which I use as well but you I know that it's, it may seem weird but you do download the one for PC so the one for Windows so if you download that <clears throat> for me it worked right away but I can tell you that you'll probably see a um, an ad and then you have to click skip ad after five seconds so if you want to do that right now that's fine um, you basically select a place on your computer that you're going to put this file um, so once it's downloaded <clears throat> the next thing that you you also need to download the wine bottler so for me I just go to the wine all right it's not working but that's the one the website I'm using So if I, uh, I guess wine bottler, all one word, the very first result is basically the one I use. <clears throat> and then the version that I use is the stable version right here. So if you click that, it'll say we show an ad, blah, blah, blah. So you click download. Right now it is just uh, trying to get to that site, but anyway, I have already downloaded it, but if you are doing it now, for some reason, their ad site is not responding. But what it is is sort of a gateway page that they show you um, that you then just click skip ad after five seconds. I'll try it again. There it is. So then I'm going to say, You see at the very top right here, click skip add, and then it'll actually start downloading it. So there it is. So I've already downloaded this into a, a, a folder on my computer. So the next step is, now we've got winebottler.dmg uh, DMG file, and then we also have the uh, MetaTrader 4 on our, uh, hey, we've got Reza in the house. Nice. <clears throat> so, basically, um, hey, I see you. All right, sure, sure. <clears throat> so, in case people don't know, the person that just joined the room is our actual mentor. So going to let him, he's going to invite um, our students to see if they can uh, join in. <clears throat> and instantly going to go from a very small room to a pretty big room. <laughs> hey, Richie. Sounds good. Sounds good, Reza. Hey, hey, Miguel. Yeah, yeah, he does. <clears throat> so we're just going to wait a little bit for people to join in. No, I'm actually not a mod at the moment. <laughs> Maybe one day. I don't know if I... I don't know if it's for me. Perhaps. I, I try to help regardless, so you'll actually see me uh, speak a lot in the chat room. Yeah, I actually have this hair because I, uh, <laughs> believe it or not, 
I was really tired of wasting time to get my hair cut. Um, in the mentor tips, I'm Pierre Gramazon. But in the live chat, I'm Pierre Gramazon because apparently my name is too long for the chat. I missed that, um, that message about impossible. Yes, I am French. Oui, je suis français. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe the DeLorean or something from Reza could help me, but... No, je suis pas québécois. I'm actually from New Brunswick. <clears throat> so New Brunswick is eastern of, uh, like, Reza is m more like mid-eastern Canada. I'm in uh, way eastern Canada. <laughs> OG 500. All right, sounds good. Let's get started. So essentially the reason I'm doing this is some people were uh, saying that they were having issues installing MT4 on the Mac. And even if you do, or if even if you, I'm just going to read this. All right, so I'm going to start ignoring the chat. Um, unless you post the same thing 50 times, then I might notice it. I just want to make sure that people get the actual content they came here for. So uh, my name is Pierre Gramazon, uh, so Pierre. And uh, basically, um, I run an IT company uh, day to day. And um, I'm here to basically learn about uh, the mentor, you know, the, the trading and everything. And I do have a Mac, and I'm pretty technical. So essentially, I was able to get it to work pretty easily. Uh, yes, wine, wine bottler, that's correct. Um, <laughs> beer instead, I guess, uh, Ponce. So anyway, uh, for people that don't have a Mac, this is probably not for you. But if you do have a Mac and you are having some difficulties installing uh, MT4 on your Mac, then this is for you. And if you have difficulty getting the indicators to work and the uh, trailing stop and things like that to work, um, the expert advisor, this is for you as well. Um, I'm going to start from the very basics because this, there's people that can't even get the MT4 to work on their computer. So uh, I'm using a version of Mac uh, from a couple versions ago, so Mountain Lion, Mountain Lion, I have it not upgraded, but it should work fine on the newer versions. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start again from scratch. Uh, the 10 people that were here at the beginning, uh, my apologies, I'll have to go over this again. So there we go. <laughs> All right. Um, actually, I didn't upgrade because I have a MacBook Air and it's got only 120 gig, actually, yeah, 120 gig hard drive, and I've got like less than 10 gigs left, and the upgrade needs 10 gigs at least. So that's the only reason I haven't upgraded. It's because my I, I never have enough disk space on my MacBook Air. So anyway, let's get started. I'm going I'm going to show the installation of MT4 on the MacBook. So, or on the Mac. So, if you have a Mac, this is for you if you want to install MT4. Okay, all right. Well, hopefully, it'll work for you. So, I'm going to switch this around so you can see my computer and uh, I'm going to focus on the step by step. So I'm going to switch this here, and here's what we're going to do. I actually just at the beginning of my scope, uh, before you guys joined, I, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, went ahead and I deleted the MT4 from my computer completely and honestly that felt like you know a knife through the heart because it's almost like an addiction to have that on your computer but um, anyway I did delete it all what I did is you go into applications and then you basically select MT4 if you had it there and you also select wine and wine bottler which would be listed here at the, down the bottom you drag them into your trash and then you select uh, empty trash. So the next step is we're going to start really from scratch. If I'm going to show trades, I hope to get to that point if I'm ever good at it. But right now, I have not been profitable on my own personal trades. Of course, on the Reza trades, I am successful, but I'm trying to get to a point where I can make these trades myself. So anyway, let's uh, get started. Um, the first step is these instructions in the Mentor Tips website are actually really, really good. Um, of course, I'm more technical, so for me, it's easier uh, to get it going. I'm going to show you how to actually install this, regardless of you having access to Mentor Tips or not. So, 
lift. The first step is you do need the wine bottler and the MT4 files. They're both here. However, I'm an IT person and I'm always skeptical about downloading it from any website other than the original. So it's in my nature to just download it from the original sites, which is essentially what this is. So if you download, want to download it from the original site, this is basically the MetaTrader 4 website. And you go to the download section and although it may sound strange, you actually select MetaTrader 4 for PC. That's, that's okay, Jake. You can catch the replay. No worries. <clears throat> Thanks for coming. Uh, so you can download the MetaTrader 4 for PC. Even though we have a Mac, the idea is that Wine Bottler is essentially creating a Windows environment within your, your Mac so that it will be able to open this application for PC. So you download this. I've already done it, so I'm not going to click it. And the other thing you need to download is the Wine Bottler uh, uh, application. So <clears throat> Wine Bottler is a bit more annoying to download directly from their site. If you Google it, it'll actually show like this, right? So in my opinion, this is the uh, original site. Um, that's where I got it from, so I'm assuming it's correct. So I go onto the site and then I select the stable version. So this one here, if you click it, you'll be presented an ads page. So yes, it is super annoying, but if you download it from this particular website, um, St. Jonas, I honestly have no idea. I can't really answer that. It really depends on where you download it from. But if you're downloading it from where I am downloading it, it'll work. So you click skip ad at the top right, and then it'll eventually just start downloading it. <clears throat> so once you got that downloaded onto your computer, I've got both files here in a particular folder that I've created. So I'm going to cancel it because I've already downloaded it. So now let's get started. So I'm going to go to the folder that I've got this uh, downloaded. <clears throat> Just be a second. I actually have to find the folder. <clears throat> So here we go. So I've got the MT4 software here already downloaded. So what I'm going to do is first, you want to double click this particular thing. <clears throat> so it's going to open up like this. So what you do is you drag wine and wine bottler into your applications folder like this. Okay, so I did the whoops. All right, I think that worked, but. <clears throat> So let's just drag wine as well and try not to click too many times. So this is going to take a little bit of time. You can see it's actually pretty big. can tell you that I'm not having any issues whatsoever with uh, MT4 on my Mac. So whoever's saying it's a waste of time, you, you can certainly buy another laptop and then carry two laptops around if you want. I'm, it's just not like me. In fact, I even run Windows on my Mac in a different environment in, uh, in VMware. So Windows is an environment I use quite a bit because I have to, but... I still prefer to use uh, use wine. Wow, whoever's harding that up, thanks a lot. <laughs> exactly, you can put boot camp too. The problem is for me, I need access to everything at the same time can't just reboot. So, all right. So now that that's done, we're, we're good. I'm going to go back to the instructions because it's certainly really good instructions from the Mentor Tips website. So what you do is you just follow ahead and it said, select both. We put them in there. 
and then you'll find them in Launchpad and Applications. So we're going to launch uh, Wine Bottler. So this is important. So what you want to click is Wine Bottler. I found it in case you didn't, and then I'm going to click Open here. It says from a source from the internet. So I'm going to, if you look in your Launchpad, it showed up here. If it's not in your Launchpad, you can actually um, find it in your applications as well. It should really be added right there in your applications. So now uh, that we've got this open, the next step is to go under advanced. So you'll notice that right at the bottom here, we have offers to install Meditative 4 and 5. According to MentorTips, this is not recommended. You should install the one um, that I'm going to do instead. So it comes prepackaged, but it's we're basically being asked not to, to install those ones, and I, I haven't tested it. So let's go ahead and use the other method. All right, so we're going to select new prefix. Uh, you'll notice that other installations that I've done, it created a prefix. I'm just going to select new prefix, which is the recommended by Mentor Tips. The program to install, we're going to have to select it. So you'll have to, uh, as you can see, I said select file. You basically go wherever in your computer you have the MT4 setup.exe downloaded, which you obtained from the download uh, MetaTrader website, metatrader4.com, or within MentorTips. So then you go ahead and click open, and then this is fine. This is fine. You don't need to do anything there. There's one thing you need to select out of this, and I always forget what it is, so I'm going to look it up. <clears throat> it's right here. So I'm just going to copy that into this search bar here and then you select it and then here's a very very important piece of information the identifier this is super super important so you can leave it as is if you want I change it to uh, what was it before I actually forgot where it was it's like combat company, but let's see, combat forex. Okay, so I'm gonna do forex dot mt four <laughs> billion hearts. Let's do it. All right, let's let's pass Reza. That would be nice. <clears throat> just to uh... <laughs> just kidding. So let's go ahead and click install. That's basically it. So. It's going to ask me the application name. So I'm going to call that just MT4. It's not really a big deal. And then save it. <clears throat> so that's going to take a little while. Well, I grabbed, um, I love to fly. I grabbed that MT4 version directly from the MetaTrader 4 downloads website. For me, it works perfectly fine with indicators um, and um, expert advisors. So I don't know if, for example, brokers, while it's doing that, I'm brokers often offer you to um, install their own version of MetaTrader for like Mac or whatever. Like for example, Vantage FX, I believe offers uh, MetaTrader 4 on Mac, like the installation uh, program. The thing is, is you're essentially installing something, a, a, a program from your broker. And to a certain extent, as much as you want to trust your broker, I don't trust anyone as far as like, you know, someone that's overseas or in another country. So for me, I install my own MetaTrader from the original MetaTrader website. So that's just what I do. So let's go ahead and uh, click yes, I agree to all the terms and conditions, assuming you've read all this, which I have while I was talking. And it pops up at this page, which we just close. So let's go back to the installation process. So right now it's saying installing MT4 setup. At some point in this installation, it's going to pop up with MetaTrader 4. It'll look all crappy. 
you basically have to cancel out of it the right way. So <clears throat> while it's doing that, we just have to wait a little bit. Alright, so here's MetaTrader 4 that's been launched. And if you follow the instructions from the MentorTips website, we do have to click cancel out of everything, but not out of this installation. You don't click this. So you click cancel out of this offers for brokers. You cancel out of this pop-up for login information. And then the best way to exit the screen is to click file. And then this is kind of weird, but you just click exit. So now we're good, and then this has changed to select start file. This is OK as is, so you click OK. Then you click OK. <clears throat> and I believe that's basically it. Now this particular prefix that you've selected down here, make a good note of this. In fact, I copy it into a notes. And I'm going to paste it here because I'm going to need it eventually in the future. So remember what you select down at the identifier location. This is really important. <clears throat> so basically we're done here with Wine Bottler. I'm going to quit out of it. I hope I didn't forget it, anything because I'm doing this while uh, talking and sometimes you have a difficult time uh, concentrating. So I'd like it to show up in my Launchpad and applications. So you didn't really probably notice, but I placed it um, somewhere else earlier. So I placed it in uh, my folder MT4 software. So this here, I actually want this in my applications folder. By placing it in the applications folder, by dragging it, it'll actually um, create an icon on my launch pad. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll drag it down over here into the applications. That's it. So then I'm going to close that and then I'm going to go back and uh, go into the launch pad and see if it's there. So it is there. So let's go ahead and click it. <clears throat> Now it'll take a little while, it'll say copying prefix and so on and so forth. It'll take a little while. So I do think it takes like two minutes. So while that's happening, I'm going to show you something else. So you might want to take note of this. So you'll notice that on my computer, um, the location for, let me explain it a different way. So when you install MetaTrader, you know you're probably familiar with the open data files folder. When you do file and open data file or, or it's to be able to open up your indicators and things like that. <laughs> All right, I guess I, I could do that. Um, I've actually already downloaded them to my computer, but keeps deleted trend lines. Okay, I, I, I don't know about that. All right, so anyway, it's done. So uh, let's go ahead and, uh... all right, so MetaTrader 4. Yes, I will do that. <clears throat> BGEH ring, I will do that. So here's my MetaTrader that just opened. The next thing you want to do is, uh, before you close this, you actually want to add your broker here, uh, just so that it searches it. So my demo, I know that most people are using Vantage. I actually tested Vantage already on the demo, and now I'm testing Pepperstone. It's just a personal preference. I'm actually testing multiple brokers because I don't plan on putting my money all in the same place, uh, just because I'm a person that does not put all their eggs in one basket. So right now, my, uh, my active account is on Pepperstone. So I'm going to do that and then you click scan. You probably know how to do this already so <clears throat> next. So I'm going to log into my trade account and I'm just going to switch that in. 
So one thing I will uh, tell you is that when, when you're copying and pasting information from your Mac to uh, your MetaTrader environment, you have to remember that your MetaTrader environment is a Windows environment. You might not realize it, but it is Windows in the back end. So when you're copying from your, your Mac, you might do like Control, uh, sorry, Command C. And when you're copying and when you're pasting it, to your meta, meta trader, you do your control D to paste. It's kind of odd, but it is what it is. It's it's you're copying from Mac, you're pasting to Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch the screen again once I hide my password. So I'm gonna click finish. So now I'm logged in. I'm gonna close this little crap here. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually dig into how now I'm hoping everybody's following so far. It's not that complicated. The next step now is to install the indicators and the expert advisors. So I'm going to start with the very basic, which is what Reza started with at the beginning, which was his template. So I'm going to open up the URUSD. I have no idea what it's been doing since I removed that. So right now, as you can see, I actually, ha I don't have the uh, Reza template in here and I really want it. This, this looks so much better with Reza's template. So let's go ahead and find it. So I've got it on my computer in the MT4 templates. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna open up in the new tab so we don't see everything. And there it is. I wanna drag that somehow in here somehow into the MetaTrader. So what happens here? If we go into MetaTrader and we say the normal way with Windows, we say open data folder, it opens this, and then you want to copy it and paste it in there. Honestly, you won't be able to because you're trying to copy from Mac to Windows. It just cannot copy it into that environment. You have to find this specific location on your Mac. Where the heck is this location on your Mac? This is the tough part. So Previously, I showed you my notes for this here. You're going to need this. In the majority of cases, unless for some reason the newer version of Mac has changed drastically the location of stuff, this is the location you need to look in. It'll be this path plus that, I think it's indicator name or whatever it's called. This is what I had selected. You remember that text box? So you need to basically add this to this and this becomes the path where everything is located. And finding this can be pretty difficult. So this is probably where a lot of people were having difficulties with. Um, so we're going to go to that folder. So I'm copying that into <clears throat> and here's how you do it. In your file manager, so uh, sorry, in your finder um, you are going to do, I'm going to open up a new one, new finder window. What you do is you say, at the very top here it says, go, go to folder. It'll give you an option to write folder. So you'll notice that from my notes, I had a backslash in there. Um, you don't actually need that backslash. So. You'll see it's just users, peer, library, application support. And then if you went in there, you'd actually be able to find um, that particular folder that you had named at the beginning. But um, you, can, you can go in there and do that. I won't go in there because you're going to see everything on my computer. So I'm going to go com.4x. Actually, I'm, I'm going to have to go in there because uh, a custom path is created by the, uh, the system. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop that for a second and I'm going to find it. <clears throat> Won't 
be long. So here it is. So for my, for me, it was called. <laughs> yeah, now I've got uh, confidential client data on here, so I can't really. I have to be careful. Um, Com Forex MT4. Who downloads that on their computer anyway nowadays? Seriously, I'd be surprised if anybody downloads Prawn anymore. Com .forex mt 4 underscore and then this is the ID that it generated if you want to find that just again go into the top folder um, in my case you'll see like it's all there and it's in the application support folder right so you go in here here's where it gets good so drive C program files MetaTrader 4 and then here's where you put the templates. I don't have the Ocean Sky template in there right now. Oh, Dave, uh, okay. Well, I don't know if it worked or not for you, but this is my way, I guess. I'm sure there probably are other ways. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it here. So now we have it here. This is what I called it. <clears throat> And in case you're wondering, you can grab that from the uh, Mentor Tips website. Yes, I will definitely save the scope, and uh, I'm hoping that is going to post it, but it depends on how long it'll be and how decent it is, I guess. So let's just keep going. Uh, let's go in here. Um, whoops. So... Let's just close the MetaTrader. And open it again, just to make sure that it has applied that. I'm actually not sure if you need to close it, to be perfectly honest. Um, from here on out, I mean, not Miss Rose. Um, you can use a bit of it for Windows. It's in the same location, it's just Windows is so much easier. In Windows, all you gotta do is just do open data folder and you copy and paste it in there. It's a lot easier on Windows, but on the, on the Mac, yeah, that's why you have to open that particular folder and place it in it. So anyway, um, let's just go and uh, find the template that I just added and funny enough, on the spot like this, I actually don't see it. I actually don't even remember where the templates are. I never have to look this up. If someone wants to tell me what to click, that'd be appreciated. Actually, never mind. I know how I'll do it. I'll just do right click here, which is how I usually do it. I'll just do main ocean sky. So there we go. So now we've got the beautiful template set up. Now let's go ahead and install the indicator. I have no idea why I'm not seeing templates on the left hand side here but regardless it's not a big deal I usually just right click and then select templates and then the particular template. <clears throat> so here's the next step we're gonna install an indicator in my case we're gonna install the trailing stop EA. So um, let's go ahead and do that we still have that folder open, but just to recap, I'm going to go ahead and do it again. So what you do is when you open up a finder window like this, new finder window, at the very top here, while the finder window is selected, you go, go, go to folder. And then you select the folder. Now, obviously this is going to be different. This is going to be like your own path and then so whatever your username is or your path so library application support and then it's something in here and remember what's something in here is what you used during the wine bottler application which in my case I selected this so if I go into this folder I'm gonna see a couple of them because I did this twice I did this once before doing this live scope so the one that I just used is this one so now we'll actually go again into Drive C, Program Files, MetaTrader 4, and 
<clears throat> for the indicators. four indicators and then we're in here so I'm gonna go find the trailing stop EA which you can find on the mentor tips website so if you're wondering about that just go into software downloads you will find it in there I'm not gonna go over that because I've already downloaded it and it's not the really the point of the scope so here on my computer I have it um, into indicators. I've got, <clears throat> I guess I don't, oh, right, the trailing stock EA is an expert advisor, my apologies. So let's start with the pivot point, pretty simple one. So I'm gonna do copy, copy, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste it. So instead of doing a uh, command V, which will end up pasting it in the wrong location, just do paste item here. It should show up in the right location, pivot points. So let's go back into here. And honestly, from my past experiences, you don't need to restart um, MT4. You just click, right click here and just say refresh. It'll magically appear. Just drag it onto the chart and then I actually don't remember if anything is needed. I don't think so. So just click OK. So there are. We got pivot points working. So that should really help you out quite a bit if you manage to get this done successfully. Sure. So let's uh, let's try another one. Let's try um, market data, I guess, or let's do harmonics, I guess. Sure. What's that, Dave? What's the question? I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the harm harmonics one. So I'm going to do a copy again. So copy from the downloaded indicator. When I do market data, the colors are hard. Oh, me too. <laughs> I'm waiting for hopefully uh, Reza to eventually update that. You'll see it. Actually, let's do the market data. Maybe uh, it'll put pressure on their developers. So let's bring that here <clears throat> and let's paste it. Yeah, uh, what if we didn't do the com dot for it? It's fine. If you didn't do the com dot forex thing, you're gonna see com dot your company dot something. Just remember what that was. And if you're not sure, Actually, let's take a step back. If you made the mistake and not select the path, just open up Wine Bottler. It'll say Updating Environment. And then just go under Advanced. And then in this drop down here, if you do this, you'll actually see the other ones you did before. Like, for example, two months ago when I first did this, I did the same mistake as you. I didn't change it. I said, Calm. It's not really a mistake. It's just. It, it doesn't make sense for it to say dot com dot your company your app so if you made the mistake this is how you get the path this is right here the path this is not your path this is my path but you can get it from this drop down so I'm gonna close um, wine bottler now so let's go ahead and do the market data which you know is really really hard to <laughs> to see and maybe Reza will uh, will provide an update eventually. Alright, looks like I already did it, so replace. Alright, so no problem. So now we're going to go ahead and refresh the indicators. Just right click on this here, click refresh. Don't need to restart <clears throat> Meta Trade, the trader, I don't see why. So let's go market data. Drag it. Okay, there it is. So easy to read, right? <laughs> All right, so the next step, I'm hoping everybody's following. Um, the next step is going to be the uh, uh, EAs, so the expert advisors. Also, my harmonics indicator works fine, but if I delete it and close MT4 and come back, that chart will still have harmonics. It does for me. Um, let's just do it right now. I mean, it's just going to take two seconds. So. 
copy. I need it anyway. <clears throat> and then paste. And then refresh. And then. If I remember, I believe the four hour the daily has a harmonic right now. So there. So you said, sorry, you want me to close MetaTrader and then come back? Is that what you said? So I'm going to do it. Closed. And I'm going to come back. Oh, delete the harmonics. Okay, I have no idea about that. So, now we're back and uh, harmonics is on. Delete harmonics, close and reopen, and you're saying you're going to still see it? Well, the thing is, is that it's an indicator, right? So, it only, what happens is indicators use... I'm a programmer, I guess. Uh, my background is, is a bit of a programming background. So I'm assuming, I haven't programmed an indicator myself, but I'm assuming that an indicator will stay as is and not change until the next time it is told to change. So, for example, if you ended up having another candlestick that caused this indicator to trigger, there's a possibility it might disappear. I honestly don't know. But, anyway. Let's just move on to the expert advisors because honestly, I don't really know your, uh, your the answer to your question. So expert advisors, I've got, uh, for example, the trailing stop EA here that I'm going to copy. And that was, whoa, I'm in low battery mode, so I'm gonna have to speed things up. <laughs> My phone's dying. It was at 85% when I started. So. I'm going to paste it into the expert advisors here. So I'm going to say paste item. Now for a trailing stop EA, I'm not going to risk it. I will close MetaTrader 4 because this is just too risky to be assuming that your EA is going to be running fine um, when you, you really need to be sure of it. So I'm going to restart MetaTrader 4 here just because I just installed that EA. Great, Jeff. Yes, of course it is. I mean, for me, there's no hiccup so far. You can see it works perfectly fine. And it, it's actually really fast, too. I mean, this is not lagging. Like, if I move the window, it might lag on uh, Periscope. But it's really on, it's, it's identical to having an application that's on your Mac. So let's go ahead and install, uh, use the uh, Expert Advisor. So let's go ahead and select it, Trailing Stop EA. <clears throat> so I'm going to say, I actually don't think you need this. I'm, follow the instructions on the website, okay, for this. Uh, it's been a while. Um, I, I don't think you need it, but it's been a while since I've done it. So we've got the uh, trailing stop EA. You see there's the little hat, frowny, it's not really doing it. There, frown faced. So I'm going to go ahead and just enable auto trading. And then let's go ahead and see. There we go. So it works fine. All right. So right now, I think I've gone over everything. I'm going to go over the questions now if anybody has any questions, because I think that's basically it. Um, there's the OCO that you can also install, which is the exact same way as the Trailing Stop EA. And you might have questions about the settings of the Turn this around. You might have settings about the OCO, like whether to use 10, 3, and 2, or whatever it is. And to be perfectly honest, um, I follow whatever Rizzo says usually. So if he says, okay, non farm payables are coming out, you should use 15, 5, and 5, I'm going to use 15, 5, and 5. I have not used, I've only been doing this for like a month with the uh, OCO, and there hasn't been that many major news. So, um, so I've my apologies, I missed that question if you want to just repost it. Uh, did you go over the FX dashboard? Actually, that's the one thing I will say. The FX dashboard is something I'm not going to run on my uh, on my Mac. And I don't know if it's anything specific to the Mac or Windows in general, but if you, if you remember, uh, Reza, um, Miss, I'll, I'll get back to that in a sec. 
Reza was having issues with server load or his computer load when he was sharing that uh, the FX dashboard and I think I get why like it's doing so many calculations at the same time so for me yes I'd love to change the colors um, if you know how I know how to update the indicator colors a bit because you can change the code of it I've tried it however I haven't been able to change the gray so sorry I missed that I'm not this is honestly my first periscope so I'm like looking at myself and forgetting to look at the uh, the question right click the chart oh yes yes but I I don't know how to change the gray though but yes the trailing stop definitely works on a demo account in fact I'm on the demo account right now can't see folder names in one sorry that question went in uh, too quickly if you can just repost I'm gonna try seeing what it is as soon as it's posted so yes you can definitely use I'm actually on a demo account indicator list what do you mean indicator list can't see the folder names in one bottler can't see folder names in one bottler I'm having a hard time understanding what you mean there and let's go into one bottler. Anyway, for uh, for people that were uh, that were here for most of the scope, um, back to your question in a sec. I just want to say thank you very much for coming on the scope um, and for your support. And for the people that do have questions, I will be answering them. Um, but you don't have to stick around if if you if this is all good for you. Hey, Anth Camps. So I'm going to go ahead and answer others. Um, I might need some additional follow-up. I'm going to be on for as pretty well as long as the question is going to be coming in, unless my baby upstairs starts crying that I might have to leave. To check wine bottler if we make the mistake not doing. Okay, all right. So here's what you do: you launch wine bottler again. So thanks, uh, Capitan. All right. So let's go. You click Wine Bottler here from your launch pad. It'll launch it. So you go under Advanced. And then it'll have that drop down here. You select. See, I have a bunch of them because I've installed it many times. Um, you should only have, in reality, one or two, possibly two if you've botched in a previous installation. But if you've just done this for the first time, you should only have one. Can you use MP4 the recent version of a Mac? I actually don't know, but I really have no reason why it wouldn't work. It just doesn't make sense that it wouldn't work. Mac is super backwards compatible. None of the templates or anything appears in Wine Bottler. None of the templates or anything appear in Wine Bottler. Oh, so you just are you saying that you just see new prefix and nothing else? Brandon? Okay, did you actually go through the installation process? Yeah, so did you actually like go through this? Like finish it like did you actually do for example here you select um, your mt4 application okay and then you ended up you selected this from the drop down so you went and you selected the particular uh... Tony boot camp not really I mean unless you want to reboot it all the time and parallels I actually run VMware fusion from the parallels uh, com company but this consumes like 40 gigs of disk space on my MacBook Air which is 120 gigs of hard drive space so if you it just doesn't make sense I usually have this turned off because it uses a bunch of, uh, of disk space for caching yeah, I have to individually paste, or can I copy and paste into Kdata? You can you can paste them all at the same time, 
What I can do is add templates. I can't do is add templates and indicators. Okay, let's go back to, uh, I think it's Brandon. I can't remember who said that they were having an issue with uh, the prefix and not appearing in the dropdown. Um, which version of Mac are you using? Is that, are you on uh, the latest, latest version? I actually don't remember what it's called, but because if it is, then I'm just going to upgrade my Mac to that version and I'm going to test it. And if it doesn't work, then I'll work it out. And okay, latest one. And does any, like, is anyone on the latest version of the Mac and actually have it working the way that I have it? Oh, Brandon, okay. All right, so Brandon, I'll go over your question now. Monty, um, yeah, okay. So I'd like to know if anybody has it working on El Capitan using the method that, I've, that I'm using. Okay, so it is working with, with the way that I'm explaining it. All right. All right, Brandon, let's go over your question. So you were talking about, uh, you said it doesn't, okay, I'm down to 10%. So if you guys don't mind holding for a second, I'm going to go grab uh, something to plug my phone in because otherwise I'm going to lose you guys. Just a second. <laughs> A second I'm gonna plug in my phone okay there we go all right hopefully I didn't disconnect because I actually have two routers in my house <clears throat> okay thanks wise I'll check it later so let's uh, let's go back to the question from Brandon if he's still here so, for some reason, yours is not showing up in here. I can still help you, I believe, with the location. So, have you tried going at this location without the backslash? So, um, in your finder, what you do is you say, so open up um, finder, and then at the top here, you'll say go go to folder and then so did you manage to go in application support Brandon like if you do this do you end up seeing at least something com dot something Okay, so it automatically goes to your downloads. All right, so I'm, I'm afraid, Brandon, I'm not really following exactly where you're at in the process for me to really be clear on my instructions. But basically, I've already have it downloaded here as an indicator on my computer. So it might be in your like downloads folder here. Okay, so you download Reza's template. And for me, yes, it might go into the downloads folder. I just copy it into like a particular folder that I've created for my NT4 stuff. So not a big deal. So I placed it in here somewhere. And then, but you, you need to paste it like once you have it in this location or in your downloads, that's fine. Once I try to paste it, to my MT4, it doesn't work. Okay. 
So your MT4, if you're trying to do it using this method, that's not the method to do it. So when you want to paste it, you definitely need to do it through the finder window. So the first thing is you need to do is find the com dot something that was created for your particular um, MT4 installation. By default, it would look like this, com.yourcompany.yourapp. So if you go in here and then select Drive C, Program Files, Metatrader 4, whoops, it went in the folder I didn't want. So if you go down, you'll eventually see the indicators here. And this is where I paste the, of course this one doesn't have the one I just pasted because this is like an installation I did before that didn't have it, but this is where you would paste the indicator. Oh, that's fine. Main TPL is no problem. Main TPL is fine. It's just I chose to rename it to something that I preferred. The name, the name of the file doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. In fact, you can actually open this like in a particular uh, program and change some of the code because it's just a template. So the name doesn't matter. I just call it Main Ocean Sky so that when I go in here, I can easily find it. Main Ocean Sky. Okay, can you repeat it? Repeat what I do once I have the file in my finder. Okay, so you've got the file here. It doesn't really matter what it's called. It's downloaded from the Mentor Tips website or any other website that has a template that you want to use. So basically, it's here. What you do is you go into Finder, and you don't actually go in Finder. You just need to have it selected, and then you say Go, and then go to Folder. The folder you're going to select is that folder there, except this is going to vary to your own particular computer's name. Go, go and then it'll open up the particular folder. Uh, let me just find what I'm doing here. So let's go. So in application support that you're going to see here, there's going to be com.something. And by default, unless you changed it, it'll be com.yourcompany.something. So I'm going to expand this. I'm just going to open a new tab. So com.something looks like this. So this is where, Brandon, you're going to paste it, is inside of this. So program files, metatrade 4, and then you need to find the templates folder. There it is. See how mine has me in Ocean Sky here. So you paste it, you copy it from the other place, and then make sure you right click and paste item. If you control, uh, if you uh, command V here, it'll actually end up pasting it to this folder location, which is not inside this folder. So just right click and say paste item. It'll actually paste it in the correct folder. All right. And then once you do that, um, restart MT4 and then you should see it. So hopefully that gets you working, uh, Brandon. Hopefully I didn't get that wrong. Anybody else have any questions? <clears throat> what was the folder name when I type? Okay. <laughs> you can actually do a screenshot if you want. I'm going to show it again. Okay, perfect. Brandoniano. All right. My navigator screen just popped out of the side area. Don't know how to go back in. Navigator screen. I don't know what you mean by navigator screen. So here's so it's the one that I'm going to be selecting here. So this one here. And don't put that slash. That's just that doesn't need to be there. Whoops, my keyboard is disconnected. So just like this. So users that your particular user library application support without any backslashes and there's an actual space here once you find this you'll be golden this is the secret sauce to getting into the 
indicators and templates and expert advisors on your Mac. Hopefully you got it. You can actually do a screenshot by pressing your circle and then I think the top, but okay, you got it, good. All right, anybody else has any questions? My Trillix stop is on and smiling, but nothing is happening. The chance is that it just has not activated yet. So is your trade at least 10 pips in profit, for example? That's like key right there. If it's not at least a particular amount in profit, then it won't actually do anything. Reset your MT4 layout. Not exactly sure. Oh, what do you mean? Like, do you mean your template is wrong, or do you mean like Market Watch is missing? Like, what do you mean by your MT4 is not looking right? Came up from the side. Navigator. Oh. Okay. Okay. So this here, like this, uh, where did it go? There. Like this. Oh no, I've got the same problem as you. That's terrible. Here's the trick. Double click. Or maybe not. I really thought double clicking was going to work. That's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. It's a trap. <laughs> so anyway, I closed it and let's see what happens if I try adding it again. <laughs> Brandon, that's hilarious. That is so incredibly funny. That navigator is a real pain, isn't it? <laughs> you broke my MT4. Wow, that's weird. I'm just going to try, like, if you close, what happens? I'm just wondering what happens if you close MT4. Wow, that's that's pretty terrible. If that's if you have to reinstall the entire MP4 just because of this. Wow. <laughs> I'd say send me a, a message on Twitter. It's my the same handle as my Periscope Ant Camps, and I will reply back once I find the solution because I have like I can't, I can't imagine this be like there'd be no solution. Yeah. I just won't Google it while we're on here, but so anyway, um, I actually don't know how to do that right now, but I'll have to figure it out. Thanks for breaking my MT4. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I think I've pretty well gone over everything. Uh, any tips trading? Not yet. Not yet. Um, I'll show you why I'm not going to give you tips trading. <clears throat> I'll show you why. Not yet, anyway. I started a new demo account this week, like I said at the beginning, because I wanted to test per, um, uh, Pepperstone in addition to Vantage Effects because I don't like putting all my eggs in one basket. I always want to have another solution in the event that something just does not work for me. So I have been testing pe Pepperstone this week, and I'll tell you why I wouldn't take my trades right now or my advice as far as trading goes. Because on the trades offered by Reza, I, it's fire. No worries whatsoever. They're usually profitable if I manage to catch them. Um, I've had some losses with Harsh's trades and I have not managed to pick up the winning ones at the right time. So, And then the rest of the time I'm trading on my own, trying to... Um, I find that even though Reza says to hold off trading a lot on your own and really follow his trades... I've been following him for like three months now that I feel very comfortable doing my own stuff that 
I almost feel like I'm learning a lot, lot, lot more and a lot faster about price action. So, you know when you see like the candles doing like these weird movements and then you just sort of start feeling that it's going to drop and then it act like two months ago, I'm just clueless about that stuff. And now it's just like, it's, it's intuition now that I actually see it drop. But unless you're in trades and it goes against you or with you, you don't really feel it. So it's that sensation you get from like a losing trade. You're like, okay, I've got to make a note of this right now to not put myself in that spot again. So unless you go in those losing trades and actually feel it, you know, the emotion you get, it's difficult to learn that process. So to be honest, the trades that I lost on Harsh is like the Euro Jappy a couple, like a week ago or so. Like I actually held it. Oh, uh, when you use trunk stop, just see extra lines. No, you don't see uh, you don't see extra lines with the trailing stop EA. All you'll see is that when you're in profit, the stop loss will automatically. So you know the the stop loss is like this red line, the red dotted line. The stop loss red dotted line is going to move as the tr uh, as uh, you go more and more in profit, and then let's say that you're shorting which basically it'll do this let's say that your trailing stop EA is basically following behind like this but let's say that now it shoots up it'll do this the trailing stop EA is not going to go back up so this is what will end up closing your trade and profit 1000 pips on demo that doesn't make any sense unless you take like 10 trades at once I can't wait to get to that point trial and error process yeah so I'm actually still trial and error and I'll tell you why here's my demo account this week and this is using lot sizes like I'm actually trading on a thousand um, dollar demo account why doesn't yours move has it been more in profit oh uh, whoever said that he was a thousand pips in profit I think you mean a hundred pips in profit the zeros that you see in MT4 and I don't have really trades active right now let's see if I have a history there uh, don't see any I don't have any trades active so but in MT4 with the majority of brokers it's showing as one zero for one pip so that's ten piprets pipettes or piprets and that equals one pip so even though you see ten it's not ten pips it's one pip oh yeah no worries. Let's get going. Let's go see. Uh, let's see, see Reza. Whoever has questions, send me a Twitter. Uh, P Gramazon, same handle as Periscope. So thanks a lot, guys. Um, hopefully, I didn't miss any questions. And uh, yeah, that was my scope. Cheers.